Hi everybody and welcome to Joybird Studios. My name is Paige Wassel and I'm a freelance prop stylist. Um, I have been styling furniture for photo and video for Joybird for almost four years now. So I would say I'm pretty familiar with a lot of their pieces and fabric choices that they offer. Uh, so today we are here in a living room that I have styled with some newly released Joybird furniture um, and I wanted to take you along to show you how I styled this furniture and a little bit about each furniture piece themselves. Uh, so let's go. Let's start off first with the Lewis Grand Daybed which is one of the newest pieces of furniture added to the Lewis collection. The Lewis collection consists of sectionals, corner sectionals, your average sofa, and just an ottoman. I personally love the daybed. I would love to add a daybed into any of my spaces because it is just so much larger than your average sofa. This daybed is super long. It's 96 inches long and 60 inches deep, which allows you to have pretty much as many people on it as you would like. Uh, let's say you are third wheeling it for the night and you get caught in the middle. This uh, day bed also has brackets so that there's no separation in the, in the day bed and you're not falling straight on to the ground, which is, is pretty ideal. Also, while this daybed is featured in many different fabric options, this one is specifically the Milo Dove fabric, which is, I think, the perfect shade of gray. Not too light, not too dark, kind of that type of gray that you can incorporate in any space, the perfect neutral. The fabric is also super durable, so if you spill on it or make a mess, you can clean it with water or any wa water solvent-based solution. Um, the fabric is just extremely soft, it's timeless, it's one of those pieces that you invest in and it really never goes out of style. And while it's super comfy, it offers a really great bottom L cushion and really nice modern shaped square arms. And I think that this adds a really nice modern touch to, um, to your space because it also offers some nice throw pillows. I added in a few other throw pillows of my own. This bed is so large that you can kind of style it however you want with as many throw pillows as you want, your throw blankets. You can kind of do whatever with this because the fabric is neutral, the bed is super large. You can kind of go crazy with putting it together. You can tell that this sofa is really nice quality. Not only is the structure of the sofa really durable, the cushions are insanely comfortable. They come with two throw cushions that are just some of the best textures I felt ever in a throw pillow. It is super durable and, and lightweight, but it also is just a really nice insert inside of this throw pillow. And also the back cushions as well. They're stuffed with a really nice material that makes it feel like it's not going to like wear down over time, you know, after a while while when, when your kids are on it or sometimes, you know, cats sit up here, it's not going to sink. You can tell that it's just a really nice insert and really nice fabric. Overall, everything that is incorporated on this day bed, you can tell it has really nice quality, really nice fabric, and overall just a really nice uh, structure for a day bed. Also what's great about this day bed is while it offers a really nice modern touch, it also has a really cool and sleek mid-century touch through the legs. These are cone-shaped legs and they're kind of a mid-century style that uh, pairs really nicely with this fabric and the design of this sofa. It's offered in a really nice deep brown wood, which I think is a really neutral option when you're selecting your sofa uh, that can kind of mix and match with any other furniture pieces you decide to add to it. So lastly, before we move on to the next piece, I just want to test and see what this feels like when you're sitting back and watching a movie, maybe you're hanging out with a few friends, having a cup of coffee, reading a book, this is exactly where I wanna be. I personally love a day bed over a sofa just because of the relaxing and comfortability about it. Also, don't forget that it is called a day bed. So your in-laws are in town, your friends are visiting, you can transform this bed into a bed. So not only does it act like a sofa in your living room on the weekends, you know, your friends come over and they want to sit in the night. 
voila, you have the perfect transformable sofa to bed, day bed. And I personally love it. It's super comfortable. The fabric is great. It's soft. It's timeless. It's just one of those pieces that I feel personally like it's worth the investment because it really will never go out of style. It's that type of piece that is an investment piece and uh, really looks great in, in any space. Okay, next we have the Caicos coffee table, uh, which was inspired by a modern European design. It was handcrafted by a light washed wood that is actually a para wood. And I personally love this wood because it kind of gives you this indoor outdoor feel. It's a great way to kind of airy up your space and make your space feel bright. And also this wood goes really nicely with other textures or patterns that are around your living room. Another unique touch of this coffee table, not only does it have a nice round top, it has these really cool structural triangular legs that I think add just a really unique touch to, you know, just maybe a general coffee table, making it a little bit more fun and artistic. I also really love, one of my favorite aspects actually about this table is how durable it is. If you have kids or even teenagers who are constantly jumping around on your furniture, not treating it as respectfully as you would, uh, this is the coffee table for you. It is super durable and it kind of can withstand the test of time. I personally love a round coffee table in my living room. I think it's a great way to add a different shape into your space. And styling a round coffee table is actually super simple. I kind of go by the rules of three. So maybe adding in a few books or a bowl, maybe an arrangement. I added in some taper candles as well. And this is just a really easy way to style a table with a lot of items that you may already have around your home. Okay, so next we have the Luna Accent Chair. And if you know Joybird Furniture, this is actually an updated version of the Orla Accent Chair. The Orla Accent Chair had a gold frame, whereas the Luna Accent Chair has a really nice black metal frame. And I really like the black metal frame because it adds a really nice sleek touch to your space and kind of gives the chair a modern twist. This chair is upholstered in a really great fabric. It is a shearling whisper fabric. And I personally love this fabric because it is super textured. So if you have kids or animals, it already has a nice texture to it. So it, it really allows for a lot of wear and tear. And also another great feature about this chair is that it is really nicely low set to the ground and it offers a really nice slight recline. And although this chair is a great accent piece, it is also extremely comfortable and loungy. So you could either have people over and enjoy a nice conversation on this chair, but you also could sit back, relax, and read a book or, or watch a TV show. This chair is a great addition to pretty much any space in your home. Okay, so next we have the Kiro Planter. The Kiro Planter is featured in a really nice satin brass steel finish. It also offers a really cool cage feature that I think is really unique and different than any other uh, planter that is out there. Instead of having a, you know, a general terracotta planter, why not do something a little bit more out there and kind of incorporating a cool structural art piece to your space. Uh, another really cool feature about this planter is that it's super versatile. So you can take out the cone-shaped planter inside of the planter stand, flip the planter stand over like so, and then stick the cone right back in. And that allows for you to kind of have a mix and matched type of planter in your home. And if you're anything like me, I like to switch up my space probably every three months or so. And so having a planter where I can kind of change up the look of it is uh, very ideal to me. Right above the planter is the Bonnie mirror. The Bonnie mirror is a really cool mirror because it offers a kind of like a cool art piece as well as having the functional uh, aspect of a mirror, which really can open up your space. 
I placed this mirror in between two windows because it is 25 by 45. It fit perfectly. But what's also great about this mirror is that you can kind of flip it whatever way you want. You want it vertical, you want it horizontal, you can do whatever you want. And my favorite part about this mirror is the aspect that it is basically an art piece made of rattan. It gives this beachy feel. I love to add in rattan or wicker to any of my spaces to kind of give the space a warm feeling. And also it just adds that texture that really isn't incorporated in any other furniture pieces that are around your space. Over here, if you follow me over to this little corner, we have the Zelda console table. The Zelda console table is featured in a really great bronze brushed uh, steel and it also offers a great little loop leg that is just a unique little feature that I think that a lot of console tables uh, don't really have. The attention to detail on this is is really great. It also offers a whitewashed rattan top shelves that have a really cool like diamondy pattern on them that is again you can tell that they have a ton of attention to detail on this piece. This piece is also an Art Deco inspired piece and I think that incorporating different design elements into your space is super important. So if you have a modern sofa, maybe a mid-century coffee table, why not throw in something that's Art Deco? Also this piece is super beautiful and pretty and I think it's a great console table to kind of display a lot of the items that you've maybe collected over the years. Some cool art, some artifacts, maybe things that you've thrifted, maybe some heirlooms that you've inherited some plants. This is definitely the type of piece that you want to show all of your pretty pieces that you have collected instead of maybe your Wi-Fi router. This is definitely somewhere, some piece that you would want to put in your dining room or maybe an entry room table. It's kind of that type of area that it creates a really pretty uh, vignette in your, in your home. All right, follow me. <laughs> all the way across the room, I'm going to show you the really, really unique Azura planter. This Azura planter is 71 inches tall. I've never seen a planter this tall in my life, which makes it super unique. Um, it is finished in a black iron, which is great, and a, antique gold planters inside. I personally love that this planter has three tiers to it. So if you live in a small space and you don't really have a lot of room to, to spread out your plants, this allows you to have three plants in a row that all equally get as much light. Also, what I personally love about it is that these are really easily removable. So you can plant a real plant in here, add a liner, maybe add some stones at the bottom, and you can easily take it out. And if you live in a, in a dark uh, condo like I do, I need to take my plants outside every now and then to let them see some sunshine. So since this is an indoor planter, having this be able to easily pop in and out to, to set them out for the day is, is pretty ideal for me. Uh, this planter is a great uh, addition to any small space or any area that you want to incorporate something unique. Okay, so, and lastly, we have the Avila stool. And while this stool is actually an outdoor stool, why not bring it inside? Because it adds a really cool modern touch to your space and a really unique color block. And this Avila stool is featured in the color ink, which is basically a really nice deep black. It's perfect to add just like a little plant that's maybe your little favorite plant. Or if you have a guest over and you need an extra table to throw in for their cocktail, I personally really love the addition of this stool. Okay, so that is it. That is the end to my tour of the living room I styled for Joybird. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing all of the new pieces that have been released. Uh, go check them out on joybird.com and I'll see you on the next one.